published 0514 Eastern Standard Time, 17 November 2017 Updated 0518 Eastern Standard Time, 17 November 2017 Ahead of this weekend's Premier League action, Sportsmail will be providing you with all you need to know about every fixture, with team news, provisional squads, betting odds and optostats. Here is all the information you need for Brighton's home clash with Stoke. Team News Brighton Brighton manager Chris Hewton reported no fresh injury problems following the international break ahead of Monday night's Premier League match against Stoke at the Amex Stadium. Goalkeeper Matthew Ryan helped Australia secure qualification for the World Cup after a 31 win over Honduras and has been travelling back from Sydney. Matt Ryan will be assessed by Brighton having helped Australia qualify for the World Cup midfielder Steve Sidwell continues his recovery from a back problem. Provisional squad Ryan, Dunk, Bong, Duffy, Bruno, Stevens, Proper, Isquierto, Nuckert, Murray, Gross, Krull, Brown, Hint, Sutner, Shalato, March, Goldson. Stockage off Cameron remains sidelined for Stoke's Premier League trip to Brighton on Monday. The United States international is still suffering with the after-effects of a concussion suffered in training nearly three weeks ago. Jeff Cameron Wright is still suffering from the effects of concussion for Stoke City boss Mark Hughes's hopeful keeper Jack Butland could be back in less than a month after breaking a finger while on England duty. Provisional squad Grant, Hoggard, Zalma, Wimmer, Shawcross, Martins Indy, Johnson, Peters, Ngoy, Edwards, Diouf, Fletcher, Allen, Adam, Afale, Gies, Shakiri, Chow Pomoting, Sabhi, Barahino, Crouch. Key match stats applied by Optifis will be the first competitive meeting between these two sides since February 2011, when Stoke won 30 in an FA Cup fifth round tie. Stoke have won their last eight matches against Brighton in all competitions, keeping five clean sheets in the process. Indeed, only against Wrexham 9 have the Potters enjoyed a longer winning run versus a single team. Brighton have gone four games without defeat W2D2 in the Premier League, they last went five in a row without losing in the top flight back in April 1983. Stoke won last time out on the road in the Premier League, beating Watford 10. They haven't enjoyed back-to-back -back away victories since October 2015. Stoke and Brighton haven't met in six years since the Potters' 30 victory in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Here, John Walters takes on Agustin Batipietti during the hosts' victory. Stoke City have conceded as many first the Premier League goals this season as Brighton have in total 11. Zerdan Shakiri, who has provided four assists in the Premier League this season has earned his team more points via his assists than any other player in the competition 6. Darren Fletcher has now appeared in 102 consecutive Premier League matches for his club's WBA Stoke combined. This is the joint fifth longest run by an outfield player in Premier League history, with only Frank Lampard 164, Matt Holland 115, Wayne Bridge 113, and Jonathan Walters 104 beating this run. Glenn Murray has scored in three successive Premier League games for the first time since April 2015. Indeed, Murray has netted more Premier League goals this season for a nine than he managed in his last top flight campaign back in 201,516 3 in 21. Pascal Gross has been directly involved in 63.6% .6 of Brighton's 11 Premier League goals this season, two goals, five assists. Only Tammy Abraham, 71.4% for Swansea, has a higher share for a PL team this season.